Financial hardship is reportedly the reason why civil engineers and building contractors for a catalog of large developments in the TCI, Johnston International Limited, was turned over to receiver Keith Arnold by British Caribbean Bank yesterday. The news broke after a paid advertisement notice endorsed by British Caribbean Bank, previously named Belize Bank, was published by a local newspaper which said, quote, we, British Caribbean Bank Limited, or formerly the Belize Bank, Turks and Caicos Limited, of Governors Road, Leeward, Providence Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands, or the bank, under the powers contained in a primary debenture dated July 27, 2000, May between Johnston International Limited of Governors Row, Leeward, Providence Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands, and the bank, hereby give notice that Mr. Keith Arnold of Governors Row, Leeward, Providence Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands, was on the 7th day of July 2010 appointed as receiver of Johnston International Limited, a company registered under the laws of the Turks and Caicos Islands, with its registered office situated at Governors Road, Leeward, Providence Seales, Turks and Caicos Islands, or the borrower. The notice comes just two weeks after Johnston's TCI head offices located in Leeward was closed and after a hangar facility project being built in Cayman by their subsidiary company Hetzfaltic International Limited was locked. However, TCI-based CEO Alan Forrest, commenting in the Cayman Compass, hinted that receivership was imminent last week, stating that there would be some new ownership of the company and, quote, Part of the restructuring includes taking in new investment. Directors of the company have remained tight-lipped about the ordeal. However, the company will still be working on a few domestic projects. Johnston International was one of the largest employers in the construction industry, and employees are still uncertain whether they will receive their wages for the month of June. For WIV4 News, I'm Nakira John.